Happy Mother's Day. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Mother's Day Sunday fun day. It's kind of fitting. I came downstairs to the fish room this morning. Uh, yesterday I pulled all, almost all the slates out of the angel tanks to sanitize them. <coughs> and of course, the blue zebra and blue marble rainbow decided, eh, who needs a slate? We'll just spawn on the glass. Which actually is fine for me. Um, the last spawn I had, I pulled, and at first I thought I pulled too early because everything turned white and fungus up. But then, just as usual, I left it in there for a couple days longer than I probably should have before I cleaned it up. And we have about, of course, you can't, oh, there's one. Uh, I counted about, I don't know, seven or eight fry in here yesterday. So I did a big water change because there was still, still some methylene blue. You can see some egg in there. It hasn't broken down yet. And a filter. Of course, now we only see one fry. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, so Mother's Day. These guys did their business. I didn't even play any Barry White last night. So you may be saying to yourself, self, why are you sterilizing the... Actually, you're probably not saying to yourself, self. You're probably saying to yourself, Mike, why are you sanitizing the slates? We'll get to that in a second. You may also notice in this particular tank, there is no more male. And that's because uh, she was getting her ass kicked. So I moved the male uh, to the grow up, the 30 gallon grow up tank down low in the front of the fish room. Uh, let her get some strength back. Let her uh, eat some food all by herself and in a week or two we'll put the mail back and they'll probably spawn so why did you sanitize the slates well <coughs> uh hypnotic aquatics put out so far two parts of a three part or four part i don't know how many part series on artificially rearing uh angel fish and since my method clearly doesn't work i'm going to try his method because he's like some sort of fishy mad scientist or something so there'll be links to uh his videos and his channel he's a new channel so he's just starting out but he's been uh keeping fish for like 40 years or more and so he's an old guy like me and uh i think he uh he's retired and all he does is breed fish down in florida so take a look at his channel daniel anderson is his name his website is Hypnotic Aquatics, and yeah. So what else is going on in the fish room? Today, uh, I'm going to be starting a project. I don't know if I want to start it today, but the planning will begin today for this guy, the Nameless Betta from New Jersey Betta Hatchery. Um, I'm going to take a five and a half gallon tank and set it up as a planted tank for him. Uh, I do have to go to a local fisher and get rid of, rid of these guys because I want the tank back and yeah, I don't really want them There's the big male in the grow out tank Just chilling. I did move some stuff around yesterday. What did I move? Oh, as you can see there's no more tank here with the uh, double red epistogramma cockatoides double red because I moved them to this 10 gallon tank um, I just fed them a little while ago, so there's some food in there. And I moved the angels that were in there into this 20-gallon tank. Figure they could get some more space. Now, my my friend who's setting up a tank, we're just going to call him Bob because that's what we call him. He's like a, a grandfather to my kids. You know the story. I've told it a hundred times. I don't need to go into it again. Anyway, he's family, so he set up his 56-gallon uh, tank on... Thursday on Friday that's the tank I have the 306 uh, that's all cycled ready for him to go and we ordered a plant package and some fertilizer from aquarium co-op um, I had him order a fluval 2.0 as well I don't know where he got that I don't think he got that from the co-op but 
that's coming. Basically, we went over. Uh, I tested his water. The pH is really low, like 6.2. So I may uh, may try to work on that a little bit. Not too much, you know. I hate doing that, but maybe some crushed coral in the uh, in the canister filter will help. Um. Anyway, so he set it up. We ordered some other supplies that he needed and some of these guys are going to go over there he's going to get a school of either rummy nose or cardinals to go in there and i suggested like a cool pleco like you know not just your common bristle nose and then i started showing them pictures of like uh leopard gecko plecos and zebra plecos and snowballs and and they really want a really nice pleco so maybe I'm on the hunt for a nice pleco for them um, what am I doing I'm sorry guys I'm trying to fix something that I saw that was not right which is this and I screwed that up yeah here we go so you know I like to keep the drip emitters which I'm having problems with right now just we'll get in that to a second wow that not even English we'll get We'll get to that in a second. I don't know what I said, but not that. Anywho, uh, I saw that it was messed up, and these angels are flipping the hell out. Sorry, guys. Now my arm's all wet. Underarm's getting wet. Jeez, Louise. All right. Fudge. Yeah, that's right. It just fell. And I didn't curse. At least externally. Okay. Don't touch it anymore. Where was I? Good pleco, nice pleco. Yeah, so they like the blue-eyed plecos. Um, so I'm kind of on the hunt for one of those now. I'll talk to my local guy, see if he can get one, how much it is, that kind of thing. Um, so the the auto water change system is fantastic. However, I'm having an issue with the um, valves, the solenoid valves, which are those green ones up there sticking open everything i read on the internet says take them apart they're probably dirty and not closing all the way and i took one apart and it looked like there was some calcium buildup and i was like oh cool and i cleaned it out and it's still the same crap so yeah i gotta gotta figure that out if you guys uh, know anything about irrigation sprinklers these are orbit and they are sticking open not open all the way at least i don't think but I think on every zone they're sticking open, so. I got a bunch of fish orders. Uh, we got four orders going out on Monday. Actually, it's gonna be Tuesday. I've contacted all the sellers because uh, I have an early executive meeting on Monday. So I'm not gonna be down here bagging fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We lost a, uh, a fish. Wow. Huh. Sorry. Uh, but basically what this means is I am out of, sold out of black panda guppies for now. I have a crap ton of fries, you can see, but all the adults except for one male uh, are sold. Um, we sold some cobras. We sold some sword tails. Hey, look at this snail eating that blood worm. See it right there, sort of in the middle, towards the left a little bit. You see the bloodworm kind of wiggling that snail. It's going to town. Mmm, delicious. Nom, 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 nom. That's what he sounds like in his head. Um, ooh, some more news. So, remember... Sorry, I'm just moving the light. So here are the red brick swords. Um, I don't have any red brick swords, but all these babies popped out of all those guys up there. I'm assuming one of the females had a red brick sword in her tank and I thought I, I possibly thought I had all females because I hadn't seen any swords or any spawning activity in here um, but then I noticed just recently there is one it looks like there's more males in here than I thought but there is definitely one male with the sword and of course there he is right there he's behind the standpipe now come on dude now we throw him to the back he's being shy he doesn't want to show you his sword <laughs> anyway so maybe we'll get those guys going soon. Um, nothing out of the hyphen sunset platies. 
Nothing. Actually, nothing. And to be honest, I, ha I haven't even checked if they're male or female. I bought them as a pair. The guy that, uh, where they, wherever they came from, if he says they're a pair, I'm assuming they're a pair. Uh, half black AOCs. No fry yet. Soon, maybe. And then we have the blue black sword tails in the back, which of course you can't see because they're glare. And I put them in a brown tank like a dumbass. Um, I may actually, the tank I put here, I may actually paint wine and put them in here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them down here. I may uh, want to put them in a longer tank like that, that 20 up there or something. Um, all right, so project that we'll be starting, as I said, will be uh, a five and a half gallon planted tank for that beta. And uh, it's going to be planted. As I said, I gotta start researching what I wanna do. I think I'm gonna paint the tank black. I'm gonna have black substrate. So the green from the plants and the gorgeous colors from the uh, betta pop. Just like, boom, with color. All right? That's what I think we're gonna do. Well guys, it's a short uh, Mother's Day update. My wife actually had to work last night. She'll be home soon, the kids will shower her with love and everything will be okay all right guys have a great mother's day if you're a mom wish your mom a mother's day if you have a mom and uh everybody stay cool take care guys uh leopard gecko plecos uh leopard gecko plecos uh leopard gecko plecos uh, leopard gecko plecos is the apparent wow good morning fishy folks happy mother's day and isn't it fitting that we have a pair of angels that spawned on the glass on mother's day so here's the blue zebra and the blue rainbow marble blue marble rainbow yeah 